for uh, you know MMFSL. Back to you. All right, Abhishek, thanks a lot for getting us all of those updates from the financial space. But the one pocket of, uh, you know, a pocket in the market which is really seeing good strength today is the FMCG stocks. We had Marico and Gothrich Consumer, which put out their Q3 business updates as well. So Mangalam is here to take us through the details. Mangalam, how's it looking? Well, there was resilience in the FMCG sector in today's trading session, and that's primarily because of a couple of updates that we got. And they do indicate that things are perhaps easing out for the FMCG sector. Uh, Marico, for instance, says that the India business for them grew at a mid-single-digit volume growth. This after the first half where they saw volume declines as well. Consolidated revenue for them grew in single digits and uh, gross in operating margins are expected to improve both year-on-year year as well as quarter-on-quarter. Quarter. So that would come as some, uh, some bit of relief. They expect a modest growth come by in operating profit as well. Looked at it independently, you know, these aren't numbers which would meet great shakes, but after what the sector has gone through in the first half of this year, these would come as some amelioration or some balm. They believe that, you know, the premium personal care wit uh, business witnessed double-digit growth while Parachute did okay-ish sort of growth. Safola franchise grew in double-digit. It's the value-added business which did not do too well and that points to some pain in rural demand already. And that is something that was uh, mirrored by Godrej Consumer as well. They said that, you know, this was a quarter where we saw poor rural consumption and a slowdown post the festive season. However, despite that, the three problems that Godrej Consumer had earlier was weakness in the India business, weakness in Indonesia and some contraction in margins. All of that seemed to be, uh, you know, bottoming out this time around because the India business has shown double-digit sales growth and that coming in on the back of low single-digit volume growth, double-digit sales growth in both their home care as well as the personal care divisions. Indonesia, the business has uh, started to see gradual recovery in performance, so that's a positive, whereas the momentum for their Africa business continues. They believe gross margins will recover this time and all those savings, they will invest back in marketing, so as a result of which EBITDA is likely to grow in high single digits. Now the question, what happens to rural economy going forward? given the weakness that we've seen in the first three quarters of this financial year. There are a few triggers out there as well. December saw some easing in inflation and as a result of which there were green shoots of growth there. And that could be one of the bigger triggers. Higher crop realizations is the other one. There are ongoing government interventions which is going on as well. And finally, we are talking about, uh, you know, just pre-budget conversations. So any likely stimulus coming in from the government uh, in the union budget could also prove to be a trigger for rural economy. I'll take that last point uh, very, very emphatically just ahead of the budget, whether government will do enough to boost consumption in the economy because consumption and demand is one of the big worries and spot of bother for this entire year. But consumption stocks doing well today. Thanks so much, Mangalam, for that roundup. Now